I want to make another point. Uh, this is um, Brother Noah. Um, get a three flag <coughs> stand later, and you put you put our the flag, the the Amity flag there. That's the stars and stripes. Now, what most people don't know is that this continental flag is the flag of the United States. The stars and stripe is our agreement for commerce. Yes, what they did is buried this and then told you the stars and stripe was the national flag. Okay, so the first flag that Tosh pulls out is the red one with the pine tree in the upper left corner. That is not the flag of the United States as Todd claims. That is actually the flag of New England during the Revolutionary War. It was used in 1775 around that time period. It could not possibly be the flag of the United States because the United States did not exist yet. We were, they were still the colonies and they were still fighting the, the British. They still had not achieved independence from England. The actual flag of the United States is the stars and stripes with 50 stars and 13 stripes. Uh, the rest of the stuff which Todd says about it being an amnity flag for commerce is a pure invention by him. It has absolutely no validity. The stars and stripes is not the flag of any NATO people. It does not identify with any bloodline whatsoever. We've discussed this before, but here Taj is repeating his uh, confusion and conflation of race and ancestry with nationality, which are two separate things. It is a flag that came out of treaties, uh, uh, the Treaty of Peace and Friendship of 1787. Now, here Todd is claiming that the Stars and Stripes, the one with uh, 13 stripes and uh, 50 stars, although I guess back then it was 13 stars, came out of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Now, there's a number of websites which contain the entire Treaty of Peace and Friendship, which you can read for yourself, and I'm going to ask that you do that. And you can verify for yourself that that treaty does not mention anything about establishing a flag or what type of flag should, is, should be used by the United States, or any of that. What Taj has just said here, that the flag of the United States, the Stars and Stripes, came out of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, is an invention by Taj Tariq Bey. And you can go and look it up for yourself. You do not have to believe me. Which was a, a, a culmination before the Articles of Confederation and the uh, adoption of the Constitution when we decided to stop this silliness. This is a minor correction, but what the hell. Uh, actually, the Articles of Confederation came uh, five years, give or take, before the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Uh, what he's saying here, that the Treaty of Peace and Friendship came before, is incorrect. Now, I'm going to ask you, little sister, little sister, princess, princess, You ever heard the, the, the name or the word America, Americans? Are you familiar with it? You hear it a lot, don't you? Now, I'm gonna sh we're going to run through a test. I'm going to show you something. This is a real key that you can use in law, etc. whenever you, somebody's trying to trap you. Look how subtle it is. Uh, what do you know about that word, that name? I know that people that live in America are Americans. Hmm? I know that people that live in America are American. All right, where's America? Geographically located. All right, let's look at this. You see here, the Falkland Islands, huh? Yeah. You see the tip of Argentina, Chile, huh? Yeah. It's Argentina, Chile, right? Yeah. You see up here, Alaska? Yeah. Huh? You see up here? part of Greenland up here, just just uh, up here, just below Greenland? Yeah. Or next to it? Huh? Yeah. Latitudinally, coming down here. You see these islands here? Yeah. You see down here our, one of our old sacred places, Easter Island? Yeah. That's America. Central, North, South. Tell me who's the American president. George Bush. Oh, he's the president of, of Brazil? Here, Taj is playing word game, so let's try and untangle this mess that he's created. In English, the same word can have multiple meanings depending on its use. America can refer to either 
the landmass, the North and South American continents, or it can also refer to the United States. So, for example, in his question, uh, who is the American president, that only could refer to one president, the president of the United States. Uh, for one thing, uh, in all of North and South America, only two countries speak English, Canada and the United States. So only two countries out of 35 countries that are in North and South America would be speaking English and refer to themselves as American president. Now, the only other country which speaks English in the American continents is Canada, and they don't have a president, which leaves only the United States as the country that can refer to its president as the president of the United States or the American president. The president of Mexico, for example, does not refer to himself as the American president, for one thing, because they speak Spanish down there, and number two, they, he calls himself the president of Mexico, the Mexican president, because he's the president of Mexico. And finally, uh, the national, the name of Mexico is, is the United Mexican States, or the Estados Unidos Mexicanos. It does not have America in the name, so there is no reason why he would refer to himself as the American president. You know, El Salvador is the United States of America. Did you know that? No, El Salvador is not the United States. It's actually the Republic of El Salvador, or uh, República de El Salvador. It is not <laughs> the, uh, a United States. They do not call themselves the United States of El Salvador. That is completely invented by Taj. No. Mexico is the United States of America. Did you know that? No, I didn't. That's because they cheated you in school. They did a deliberate dumb-down so that you wouldn't understand that United States is a generic term. No, Mexico is not the United States of America. They call themselves uh, the United Mexican States, Estados Unidos Mexicanos. They do not call themselves the United States of America. The only country that refers to itself as the United States of America is USA, uh, the United States. There's no such thing as the American president. It doesn't exist. Wrong. There's no such thing as the American flag. It doesn't exist. Also wrong. There is a such thing as American president and American flags that come from here on up. The formal name for what Taj is doing here is called equivocation. He's using an ambiguous term in more than one sense in order to mislead the audience. The ambiguous term here is America and American, which can either refer to the United States, the country, or the two North and South American continents. When somebody says the American president, the America in that phrase is being used to refer to the United States. That the America in that phrase does not refer to North and South America. There is no president of North and South America. Uh, from context and uh, common usage of the phrase, we know what that word and what the phrase American president means. Uh, what Taj is doing here is simply word tricks and trying to mislead the audience. And more importantly, these word games have absolutely no application in a courtroom, which is what he's trying to argue. Uh, trying to trick, I guess, the judge in your case uh, to, to believe that there is no American president or no American flag because America is two continents is not going to work on the judge. So when... Somebody comes before you and starts talking law and starts talking that like he has a jurisdiction over matter. The first thing for you supposed to ask him, oh, I have no problem. Where's your nationality card? That's for one. Then your certificate, delegation of authority order, that proves the jurisdiction of whichever America you're talking about and whatever constitutional government you are aligned with. Okay, so we've already discussed this. Uh, number one, uh, delegation of authority orders do not exist, period. So telling a judge to show you his or her delegation of authority order is just going to confuse the judge because it's a document that does not exist. Uh, secondly, <laughs> nationality cards do not exist in this country. We do not get uh, cards that say that we are nationals of the United States. Uh, the closest to that would be maybe a passport that would show that you're a, an American citizen or 
a birth certificate or a driver's license. So no, there is no such thing as a nationality card. And in either case, a judge is not required to show you proof that he is a citizen of the United States. Uh, but just to close this off, we actually have examples of people going up to judges and asking them for their nationality cards, and it fails every single time. Objection. Uh, just for the record, the Office of Public Defense is not representing me. We don't have any power of attorney for me, and uh, I'm not part of your society, so you cannot represent me, and we do not share nationalities. Okay, now, for the record, Mr. Uh, I need the nationality of every agent in here, and I need the name and the information because I'm suing everybody. Mr. Kramer. Everybody. Now, that was Noble Amir Shyam Kushamir L. of the infamous Marrakesh cases, and I'm going to link the full 83-page uh, uh, court decision that gives the entire case history of, of that mess. And I'm going to suggest that you go, guys go read that because it's hilarious and shows how poorly this uh, Moorish crap works in court. Uh, spoiler alert, they lost in court. As explained on page 17 of the court decision, these guys filed 27 different federal lawsuits and lost every single one. And it also discusses a number of things that are common to a lot of these uh, Morris cases. For example, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People and it explains that, quote, it is not a binding instrument even for purposes of countries that have voted in favor of its adoption because it's a declaration and not a treaty. And also points out that it's not binding on countries that voted against it, such as Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the United States.